Hi, I'm back. Now this is the second part of a triple set video that uh, we're sort of putting together. I've sort of moved into a new space or done a partial move into a new space. And uh, I have some artwork uh, that I acquired or we acquired a few months ago that uh, I wanted to put up in this in this new space that we're, uh, we're, we've moved into. And um, there's a beautiful wall. I'm gonna put a piece of art here. Now, what we did in the previous video was put the, the hooks on the frame, right? We did our measurements um, for the frame and we did it in a way where it was going to be sort of symmetrical, the weight distributed evenly along the frame because this is sort of an old house that we moved into and the walls are plaster. I'm not 100% sure. I've, I've tried looking to find, you know, the beams where the walls go so I can put, you know, deep anchors in there and it could hold up anything, right? Uh, so there's no rhyme and reason what I've checked out and I've tried to use a stud finder. It's it's virtually impossible to do. So the way I've decided to do it is um, we sort of put three hooks on the frame. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the same hooks on here, just measure out the same distances, right? And that's one place we end up using mathematics a lot is, um, is doing measurements for our space, right? To create a good space for us to live in, right? And I sort of decided to do this video because um, I have a friend that actually has an art gallery and another friend was working there at the time. And uh, she wanted to put up some, uh, some art for uh, the opening that was happening for certain artists. And she asked me to help her out to do the measurements so the stuff would be symmetrical because one thing I've realized or found out with art galleries is empty space is super important between your art, right? So space is super important. And a lot of galleries try to introduce a lot of symmetry within their space, which is basically mimicking nature, right? There's a lot of symmetry in nature. So that's sort of what I try to do. Um, with my measurements, with my mathematics, when I'm creating my space. And this is, you know, I figure this might help people out if they're trying to do little calculations to put up artwork, okay. So what we've already done in the previous video is put the hooks in. What we're gonna do in the next video is take a, you know, pretty in-depth look at uh, this piece of art uh, that we ended up buying because it sort of put a huge smile on our faces. And there's two other pieces of art that accompanied this this piece that we're gonna put up somewhere else. So, you know, I'll show you those ones in the next video as well, okay? So you're, if you're interested in the art itself, um, the next video, um, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy, okay? What we're gonna do in this one is do the measurements to put up the frame. Now, what we did, we wrote down our calculations, right? Simple calculations, we got uh, metric and imperial, right? Now, all we gotta do is find the center and we're gonna go off the center these distances, these two distances, really, right? So what I need to do is figure out what, where I want my art to be, right? And then find the center between basically almost where these two lights are. There's two pieces of furniture. You can see the edge here. I'm not sure if you can see the edge on this side. I want it to be framed right in the center of those. So what I'm gonna do is measure the distance between these two pieces, right? And put the hook right in the center. So what we got is the distance between these two pieces is, hundred and twenty six centimeters or forty nine and a half inches approximately hundred and twenty six centimeters let's do this so we got a hundred and twenty six centimeters for this next set of calculations you just use a green marker right so for the metric, we have 126 and 49 something. Let's see. Forty-nine. It's more than it's more than forty-nine and a half inches. It's forty-nine and 
I guess a half of an inch inches you know you can break down at the sixteenths so it would be 49 and 8 sixteenths so it's probably 49 and 9 sixteenths but I'm gonna go with 49 and a half inches because um, you know the pieces of furniture I have you know they're not perfect straight edges right they do a little whoop, wobble on this side anyway and this one is you know it's got a couple of things sticking out so the eye um, won't uh, be thrown off by that by minute distances this way right so we had 126 centimeters and 49 and a half inches right 49 and a half inches across right from one piece of furniture to the other I want to put the frame right in the center I want to center it so all we've got to do is uh, divide each one of these by two right 126 divided by 2 is going to be 63 all right 12 divided by 2 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so 23 right 49 and a half divided by 2 now 48 divided by 2 is 24 right I still have to go one more so 1 divided by 2 is a half right so I got 24 plus a half and I have a half that I have to divide by two so a half divided by two is a quarter right now I could do this going up to 50 right and then doing the subtraction I like doing the addition right now for this um, inches throws me throws me off a fair bit so I like to make sure I'm doing the calculations correctly and I like adding rather than subtracting so all we have to do now to figure out what it is in Imperial is add a half and a quarter. Well, a half, if you're going to add it, you need a common denominator. So that becomes a four, multiply that by two, multiply that by two. So that becomes a two plus one is three. So this becomes 24 and three quarters, right? 24 and three quarters. And hopefully 24 and three quarters is the same as 63 centimeters, right? 24 and three quarters of an inch is the same as 63 centimeters, right? And if you want to know how to do these calculations, uh, just adding, subtracting fractions, uh, you know, we did some videos in the language of mathematics for this, right? So let's bring our calculations right here. So we're gonna go 63 centimeters. quarters of an inch which it is approximately right I'm gonna do it here as well because I'm gonna go I need to have a straight line all you need is two points right so I put one point you know wherever it is down here I don't think you can see it and another point, you know a little bit further down and I'm gonna measure straight up okay that way I'll be you know straight line going up I won't be deviating too much okay and if you want to see it I'm not sure if this is going to come out it might be too dark right 63 where are we 63 and 63 centimeters is here whoops 63 centimeters is here right and that's 24 and approximately three quarters right so our calculations are accurate anyway the, on paper so what we need to do now is um, figure out where we want the frame to sit the top of the frame right because the hooks on the frame are put on the top so what I'm going to do is figure out where I'm going to be luckily there's a uh, you know there's a little gap at the bottom here so I can just hook the tape measure there 
And since I got two marks, I can go straight up. And I will know I won't be deviating too much. So I want the top of my frame to sit about here. And the thing is about this big, so it's going to sit here and give me plenty of room here. Or actually, let's take it to here, the top. 60 centimeters, 100, sorry, 60 inches from the ground. That seems like a good number. Or we go higher. Right. Should we bring the frame up? Let's bring it up. Let's see where it's going to look the best. Right. So here is... Uh, here are the hooks that we put up, right? Three of them, and that's the center one. So I'm gonna center this thing. And if you wanna see this, and I'll show this to you guys uh, more clearly in another, in the next video. But <laughs> this is the, <laughs> this is what it looks like, right? Lots of eyes looking at you. So let's take a look. I have no idea. There's so many different types of animals looking here. And I didn't even, uh, when we bought this, didn't even see the writing, right? Friends with wood. And this person, um, this artist has done a lot of work with wood, obviously, right? So let's see. Do we want this to be really up? No, too far, too far, too far, too far. Too far. That looks good. We're offset. Looks pretty good. A little bit higher. Yeah, I think I want this to be around here. Okay. So let's put this back down. And where is our tape measure? So I wanted it to be about here. Let's see how high that is. Yeah, it's about 60, but 62. And I want to make sure I'm in the center. 62 inches. So I'm at 62 inches. rest of my calculation is going to be fairly easier measurement because all I got to do now is go off our calculation was 23 centimeters this way go off 23 centimeters this way put three nails in and hang the picture right the only trick is going to be to make sure that I'm level now unfortunately I didn't bring my level I left it where my drill is right at the other location so what I'm going to do to do this calculation to make sure um, even, I'm going to come up 60. Jeez, how high did we come up? I think we went 62. So I'm going to come up 62 from the base, each one of these, right? So 62, let's measure 23 centimeters here, right? I'm going to put a little hook. So as you can tell, I'm doing both inches and centimeters, right? Because inches, I don't have to do any more calculations for this. It's just 63 inches. And since it's bigger, you know, bigger gaps, inches are wider as 2.54 centimeters in an inch, right? So it's a smaller number I have to remember, right? So I'm gonna go 23 centimeters here. And we did this through calculations, so it was easier. 23 centimeters here. My tick isn't gonna be that big right and 23 centimeters here right. and i'm going to come up 62 inches from the ground from both sides and hopefully it lines up if i'm a little off it doesn't make a difference i just adjust according to the height from the ground right that's not bad I just have to bring this tick down a little bit. 
so 62 right there okay let's make sure this is 62 Again, it was shooting a little bit low. Not bad though. 62. Perfect. So all I gotta do now is uh, put my nails in, right? And that should do it. And what I got is, uh, because the walls are plaster, I'm going deep with them. Uh, you know three nails they're bigger than the nails that were provided with the hooks okay now this might be loud so I'm probably gonna edit the hammering out of the video okay so we're gonna go and the beauty with these things is is they have the heads on the nails right so that'll hook on to the hooks the gaps that they had I'm gonna put it on a little bit of a slant hear things falling uh, behind the wall when I'm hitting it, the plaster crumbling behind it. There's so I think there's a couple of layers of plaster or a few layers of plaster. Good. Okay. So you can hear it, it's very squishy back there so let's bring the frame up and hopefully this works perfect right looks good sits well hopefully it's even I'm gonna step back and make sure it's good what we could do is uh, the ceiling here is on a slant so I could measure this to make sure it looks even so that's 24 and that's 24 yeah so that's it uh, we got our frame up uh, our piece of artwork up and uh, if you want to know how we put the hooks on it was a previous video in the next video I'm gonna show you this to you uh, more close up and uh, hopefully you'll like it uh, I really ended up like it. We really ended up like it. It puts a huge smile on the face. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.